We're back with another set of VOD reviews, this time with a different twist. Vanguards will be walking you through Rhett Paladin gameplay from two different players. One will be a loss at rival ratings, and the other will actually be a win at Duelist. Our last VOD review was over 40 minutes long, but this one is way more condensed. Right now we are beta testing our new user review feature and we would like your feedback, so let us know in the comments below what length of VOD review you think is best. Do you want things to be short and sweet, or would you prefer a deep dive? Anyway, let's let Vanguards take it from here, starting with a loss at 1900. Hey everyone, this is Vanguards. I'm a multi rank 1 player who also streams. We're going to be looking here at a 1900 Red Paladin in Solo Shuffle. I'm going to get right started here, so it looks like it's going to be a Hunter Red Mistweaver versus Survival Hunter Warrior Druid. This Mistweaver could be a Fistweaver, so we'll see how that goes. Something off the back I see actually before this game even gets started. Oh, you could look at his talents too actually. Um, let's see, talents wise, so Crusade is kind of a common talent now, but that's not too bad. Uh, both wings are actually viable. Um, the main thing I would critique on is I really think uh, Crusading Strikes is the way. And then here I would use maybe like Luminance instead. Um, Vanguard of Justice I don't really like either, but it's it's debatable. This one I, this one I don't hate at least, but Crusading Strike is really good. And then besides that, yeah, I think something for his UI, I see that the Monk has Karma. So something that's important for really any Arena players nowadays. It's add-on since it's gotten so powerful. It's really important to really get your UI fixed up, especially for things like, you know, it's like showing Karma instead of his cooldown. So that could get a really confusing. So get here, he gets Storm Bolted. And get, he doesn't, uh, he props the Divine Protection stuff, which I think is fine. Solo Shuffle is an aggressive game, so popping cooldowns early is okay. I, I would like to have seen him to uh, use his Blessing of Sync on the Fist Weaver there. Um, that would have uh, obviously helped the monk survive and maybe use a little less cooldowns to live. He got a lot of cooldowns on the war offensively. I would like to see him stay on maybe the Hunter here. Uh, something else I'm not seeing here is the Red Star has his Hodge and his Blind. I would like to see him use it quicker. I um, mean, he solo shuffle fast, fast paced games. Once again, you really want to get your CCs going um, as soon as possible because you know, you want to get that Shrinker ASAP and then the next CC, you could just win sometimes. So Fist Weaver is definitely in a lot of trouble here. We'll definitely look at uh, helping him out. Maybe that Lay on Hands or Blessing of Protection might have to come in a bit. It's okay for now though. Okay, there's still the Hodge. Hopefully after this Fear, he'll get off the Hodge here. The Drew style is Trinket, so they're definitely a little behind. Okay, Hodge. See a stun. The Fist Weaver's in a lot of trouble. That was the Lay on Hands. They overlapped the Revival a little, but he can't help in Solo Shuffle sometimes. So now he's on Forbearance, so the Monk's in a lot of trouble. This is more on the Monk, but I'd like to see the Monk maybe... He's just in a lot of trouble right now, honestly. The, the Red should definitely focus on healing him, to say the least. Fist Weavers are kind of weird. You can't just tell them to run. It doesn't really work that way. Um, they have Port, it's good, but... Yeah, the Red should definitely be focused on healing him here. See, the Fist Weaver is just gonna die here on that little kick. Um, but yeah, overall, this game, I think, are biggest critiques for uh, getting the CCs on Druid faster, on uh, specialization a little bit, and then also the UI with, uh, you know, the cooldowns are a little confusing. You can't even see if the Fist Weaver is using, you know, his defensives or not. You wanna, you know, arenas are kind of sometimes like chess when it comes to cooldowns. You know, if, if the Monk uses his, you know, his wall, his uh, Fortifying Brew and such, he's, he's pretty safe. You don't really need to help him too much. And then, you know, you, you just don't want to overlap as much as you can. It's hard to play perfect, but you want to you wanna get as close as possible always, right? And, then, and another thing I want to see was his talent. Once again, we go back on that. It was, yeah, the Crusading Strikes. I really think uh, getting those extra globals in is important. So I think having the two charges, you, I don't even know if it got pressed throughout this game. Usually, because the priority of, of this uh, Templar Strikes is so low, you don't even really get to use it, so it ends up not doing much damage, and Crusading Strikes provides you more damage, and lets you use your globals on other things, uh, that's more important. Um, and Vanguard of Justice is not terrible, but if you took that out, you could also put another point into the uh, 3 Holy Power um, Final Reckoning. That'll give you a little more, you know, that extra Holy Power damage. So those are some of the things that I would change about this uh, spec, and oh yeah, the PvP talent, so I'm definitely... I'll grab maybe Luminance instead of uh, Blessing of Spell Warding doesn't actually do much. When you press, uh, you know, Freedom and such, you, you already have double Freedom, so just your third member will get maybe like a bit of boost. But overall, this talent, it, it's it's not it's not unusable, but on a general basis, I think Luminance for a little more damage boost um, and some other talents as well is a little... And especially if you're going to use Templar Strikes, you should probably just use Aura of Reckoning. That's one that actually works with this and doesn't work with Crusading Strikes. 
Off the back, I have to say, uh, composition-wise, I think this is a bit of a difficult matchup for my mage priest usually, but in solo shuffle, you know, you should never give up because games are so fast-paced. People are not that coordinated as compared to rated games, so anything can pretty much happen. The priest on our team here caught out a target in the last second. I'm not a big fan when they do that sometimes, but you know, maybe I, yeah, I would like to go on the shadow priest instead, but sometimes you have to follow what your teammates do just so you know you don't get them mad and make them play worse than they should. I like that this paladin ran in for the early blind. That's really important solo shuffle getting those early CCs. Um, you can see here, I like to see that it shows the healing stream very clearly in the stone skin. I like to see him be on a totem stomping duty more. Red paladins are just so good at killing totems without like messing up their flow. They can kind of, you know, still do most of their maximum damage on a player while killing totems. So it's good to take those out and, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I like to see him kill that. So I like how he's doing CCs. Yes, he pressed the cooldowns. I think he has Divine Protection. You can go back and check. He pressed it a little bit too late in my opinion. Um, you want to press your Divine Protection mainly when, you know, you're taking, before you take a lot of damage. Sometimes, you know, this is a bit of a hindsight critique. But, you know, you, you want to take it before you take damage, right? Since it's a damage reduction button. Okay, like, got a like, good CC channel on Shaman here. The Warrior runs. I like to see him maybe kill that Killing Tide. Nice, he does do that and kills the Tide. Goes back, maybe kill the, uh, I would like to see if go on the Shadow Priest. I know the Priest they call like the Warrior target to start, but I really think uh, Red Pallies in general just aren't really like a, unless you play Red Hunter maybe, you can't, you can't, it's not really like a trained target to win type. The Warrior is playing so defensive and the Shadow Priest you can see here, Shadow Priest and the, you know, he's like, he was in, almost on top of their healer at one point. I'd like to see him maybe punish the SP a little more. Something interesting now is that the Shadow Priest gripped the Shaman over. This is another kind of flexibility thing that was going on about. The Shaman is kind of in better position to get killed now because he's, you know, he's not on the pillar anymore. That's This is the moment where you can actually kill the healers, uh, especially when you play with a ranged DPS. With a double melee, sometimes you can just run at the healers without caring, but with ranged DPS, these are kind of the moments where they're, the healers are really vulnerable. So I'd like to see him kind of maybe do some swaps. The Warrior is still kind of like a... Like a hard to kill target in this comp, honestly. The Shadow Priest is playing Master Spell, and he's Master Spelling CC. It's gonna be hard to kill the Warrior, in my opinion. I think killing the SP or the Shaman in like cross CC is more possible. They do get the Warrior very low here. Got a lot of CC. Shaman's no trinket, so maybe we can get like a. He is on Stun DR right now, but he is a good target. Ooh, that blind. Uh, so that blind there that broke instantly was kind of bad. They, they're getting a good go on Shaman here, but I would like to see. So make sure to always watch your CCs. Blizzard, as you can see here in the middle. Obviously don't want to use blind into that, so gotta be careful. Press the hodge, getting some stun, getting some damage. So they get like almost a, a ton of cooldowns from the shaman here. They got the wall, they got the you know the intervene and all that. So the shaman's a really good kill target within the next like 30 something seconds before he has trinket. Um, you know, I like to see them keep doing what they're doing, play kind of defensive and hit whatever, and the next stun I would like to see him go back on shaman. Maybe here once again. I like to see him on SP so he can get some kicks, maybe to stop damage more. I feel like hitting the war, you know, it, it does get you killed a lot faster compared to being on the SP. Oh, Bali here, okay. Oh, the final reckoning breaks the Bali. I'm not, so that's another thing. Always be careful if your CC breaks. You might just end up killing the war here. It looks like so they do. So that was nice. But yeah, I, I like that they, um, you know, totem stomping. They kill, he killed healing tide. He didn't kill the healing streams and such. So that's one of my critiques is uh, watch for totems, healing stream and. Killing Healing Tide is really good. That's the strongest totem. The stream and stone skin matters too. Even for a Red Pally, stone skin uh, does matter now. A lot of our damage um, does get affected in some way by by armor now. So good to kill that. And then, yeah, I'd like to see him go on an SP a little more too to stop damage, get some kicks in, and then maybe even look for more Shaman Swaps. I like that. You know, the one Shaman Swap that they got was very powerful. So could maybe look at doing that more. All right, guys, that wraps it up for another VOD review. Once again, if you like this video or want to see more VOD reviews, let us know what you liked and what we could do different. For a limited time, skill cap members can submit their gameplay to be reviewed by Rank 1 Gladiators, who will watch through arena footage and give personalized advice for how to improve. These reviews are added to our hundreds of arena commentaries and go hand in hand with our class guides, including our redesigned Ret Paladin course that teaches you how to deal maximum damage and some brand new Master and Minutes guides which quickly teach you some advanced tips. In addition to hundreds of guides, you get to post questions anytime you want in our Ask a Pro Discord forum, where top players can give you personal tips and answer challenging PvP questions. Last season, we helped thousands of PvPers hit their rating goals, from Challenger all the way up to Rank 1. We're the only place that guarantees you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website. And if you don't, then you shouldn't pay. Visit the links below to learn more. As always, though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.